was disabled waiting on a tow truck to arrive when this tractor collided into it and ended up into the river so we have that tractor who failed to slow down and move over for a pedestrian vehicle that was disabled on the highway late at night accidents happen i can understand that uh, my buddy Jimmy with Northwestern Towing showed up to the accident location to recover this Titan double tractor. Uh, ODOT, Oregon Department of Transportation, was out here with him while they were putting together a recovery plan. This double tanker rear-ended the ODOT truck. So now you have two semis hauling doubles, one hauling double tankers that failed to slow down and move over and ended up in the Columbia River right out of the Columbia River Gorge and uh, thankfully no one lost their lives this could have been a catastrophic accident how there were not major injuries or deaths that occurred with uh, both collisions is uh, I, I don't know it's um, very rare in my history dealing with this when there's not major accidents or when there's not major injuries with these types of accidents sorry um, so far I've done all of the rigging on uh, the tanker behind me right here and its trailer and it is pulling out together both the main tanker and its uh, tag-along tanker back there is coming out together as planned and uh, this Titan trailer back here um, has separated as of right now from its main cab which I'll have to go back down and rig the trailer it's sitting right about here moral of this story is slow down you move over you see flashing lights move over there are lives at risk multiple lives could have been lost uh, Friday night when they were out here with the rotator there's multiple people standing in between the rotator and the ODOT truck when that double tanker struck the ODOT truck and ended up into the river uh, very serious stuff man almost every single state in America has a slow down and move over law and it's not a joke, they're there for a reason. The, the semi truck actually admitted to seeing the ODOT tractor's lights, saying that they distracted him. What do you mean they distracted you? You admit you see the lights, but yet you fail to slow down and move over. Um, slow down and move over, guys. It saves lives. It absolutely saves lives. Uh, we all want to get home. My brothers and sisters in the towing industry, um, they want to go home, you know? When they're out here working on the side of the highway, it's a really big deal. Really, really big deal. Uh, Debbie said no spilling from the tanker. No, I spent uh, all day yesterday, I actually emptied um, the fuel from all of this. Also set up uh, booms and uh, there was no major contamination to the river. Uh, we were on it right away, got a drain. Uh, I was able to actually take off the uh, cab diesel tank from that truck that way we didn't risk um, damaging it pulling it up the cliffside here so uh, so far with an accident this big uh, nothing but nothing short of God's work was was here nobody got hurt nobody lost their lives somebody said what's ODOT ODOT is Oregon Department of Transportation Thank you guys for all your support. I know this is uh, far different from looking for missing people, but this is this is what I do. This is what I've done almost my entire life.
So for those of you who are just now tuning in, uh, we're doing a, we have multiple semi-tractors in the Columbia River Gorge. One is a double tanker and uh, we're working to recover them. They've been in there for quite a while now. We've emptied the tanks. Uh, there's not a lot of contamination. No one lost their lives, which is great. And uh, just trying to bring you guys into the recovery operation. Uh, one of the biggest recoveries of the year in the towing industry when it comes to heavy duty stuff. Look at my hook on there, it stayed yeah. right on the corner of that trailer. So behind this trailer, there's a this double trailer still laying out there. I'm gonna have to go back in and recover. Uh, we'll have to rig that one up and pull it out separately. Yes, for those of you who are watching this, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'm coming to get your cat. I'm taking your cat. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Uh, no, the front, the engine's not coming off that trailer. I have, uh, I have it rigged to, the, uh, rigged to the frame underneath. Nothing's coming off of that. Huh? Is it coming up with it? Nice. So far, uh, both the tractors that I have rigged, um, both trailers, because they're both doubles. Uh, it was a double tanker and a um, double tractor, a haul of doubles. Uh, 
are coming up together all four so best case scenario if not i'll go back in and i'll rig the uh, trailers if they come apart but so far it's working beautiful this is all because of the failure to slow down and move over i've said it before in this live but for those of you who are just uh tuning in um there was a pedestrian vehicle broke down in the middle of the night and this first tractor this titan double ran into the back of it because it failed to slow down and moved over for a disabled vehicle uh, uh, northwestern towing and their rotator responded to the first uh, semi accident while they were putting together you know logistical plan for recovery the double tanker down here ran into the back of the department of transportation truck nearly killing the worker and uh, several of northwestern towings employees the owner his brother and so forth um, i know mistakes happen i know truckers are very tired uh, but it's not an excuse it's not an excuse uh, there are lives at risk and you got to slow down and move over uh, you know the the the, the first tuck truck the titan truck you know you can say that's an accident for whatever reason it was dark it was just a pedestrian vehicle there were no tow trucks or lights on the side of the road things happen but the double tanker that struck the ODOT vehicle and almost killed multiple Northwestern towing uh, representatives as well as the ODOT em uh, employee, uh, there was no excuse for that. He admitted to seeing the ODOT truck and he just failed to uh, slow down and move over. Um, follow, the, follow the law. It's, it's really simple. Uh, I've been around a lot of people who have lost their lives when it comes to the towing industry and being on the side of the road. It's arguably one of the most dangerous places to be. And uh, for those of you who are watching this, you know, this is a lot of destruction right here. Uh, it could have been catastrophic, the, you know, the explosion that could have happened um, from that tanker back there, that double tanker, uh, could have uh, ended a lot of lives. And for those of you who are familiar with the Columbia River Gorge and the fires and, the, you know, how, how we're prone to um, those types of things, uh, it, it, it could have devastated this entire region of Oregon and Washington. Because this river right here, separates Oregon, Washington, over there. And uh, fires hop the river. It's happened in the past. Uh, one of the biggest fires in Oregon uh, and, and in this area of Washington um, happened because of, of a firework that caused a fire on the Oregon side and it ended up hopping over onto the Washington side. And, uh, it was devastating, but none of that happened. Uh, nobody lost their lives and it's just a huge lesson this is a big lesson for people to uh, take heed to slowing down and moving over we're all distracted uh, we live in a time where you know uh, distractions are you know at their peak for us all in many different ways um, i'm not perfect but um, when, it, when it comes to hands-free driving and so forth um, i try my hardest and when i see flashing lights guess what i slow down and i move over uh, when you see flashing lights, you need to pay attention. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, both the drivers of these semis lived. Uh, they were able to swim to shore. Um, this time of year, the Columbia River uh, is not, uh, not that cold, and uh, they were lucky. Uh, the pedestrian vehicle that was struck by the Titan double, ta double trailer, um, that was not occupied, so no lives lost there. And as well as the Oregon Department of Transportation truck that was struck by the double tanker. Um, nobody was in that vehicle and the individuals that were in between the rotator and the Oregon Department of Transportation truck were unscathed. Absolutely miraculous. So no major injuries in all of this, which is just, you know, I, I've never seen any, I've never seen this much destruction and this big of an accident in the heavy duty realm with so many vehicles struck and no major injuries. So um, definitely God's work here, uh, whatever that means. 
Uh, but God had his hand in and making sure nobody lost their lives. Look at that. My tractor's staying on the back there. Axel says, uh, Doug, what's the rough estimate on cost of the recovery? Um, it's not over yet. You know, so far we have over 24 hours into this recovery. Uh, I have uh, about 13 hours of diving uh, with, uh, you know, removing fuels from both of these vehicles. Um, and, you know, you're looking at well over six figures for uh, these recoveries. This is uh, arguably, you know, one of the biggest heavy duty recoveries in the country so far this year. So what's gonna happen next is uh, we're gonna try to pull both of these semis up. That's the plan, all together. Get them up onto the highway. Uh, we have low boys and land all trailers that we're gonna set these on and haul them back into Portland. Uh, if all goes well, it should be about another four or five hours to get that done and the highway should be open back up. Right now we have all of I-84 uh, westbound into Portland completely shut down. All right, again, for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, thank you guys for being here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, what you're looking at right now is multiple semi trucks hauling doubles. One of them is a double tanker. Ended up in the Columbia River, right in the Columbia River Gorge, right outside of Portland, Oregon, uh, two nights ago, uh, due to not slowing down and moving over. Slow down and move over. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the whole spiel about all of that stuff. I've done it twice already on this live. So for those of you, when I end this, go back and you can watch it. Um, I gotta go right now. I'm gonna have to re-rig this back trailer and uh, I will post an update with some uh, pictures and whatnot once these get onto the highway. Uh, but slow down and move over guys. It's a really big deal. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching.